So today we are uh, hoeing up the garden. We're taking this garden fork here and we're um, turning over the soil in these already raised beds. And you can see I've done that here. Um, see how it's nice and tilled up. And then this is where we had lettuce. Um, see the break here. And um, the lettuce is done. We harvested it yesterday, finished it off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to till up all that land. I've already done it over here and then some over there too. I've got the weeds and the lettuce and any of the other plant material on top. And I do that because what I'm gonna do after that is take this mulch here, this leaf mulch, not this particular leaf mulch, but leaf mulch that's similar to this, and I'm gonna put that on top of what I am um, gonna turn over. And you can see, I just flipped this leaf mulch over on top. It looks dry. Flip it over, see how it's wet, it's um, darker, you know, it's holding that moisture in. So mulching your soil does wonders for your garden. Um, it's weed control. See how there's no weeds in this area. Maybe this one is a weed, but really there's very few weeds. Um, if this was bare soil, you'd have weeds everywhere. Um, holds in the moisture so it doesn't rain for a couple days. You have moisture retention. Um, it enhances your soil. This leaf mulch is gonna break down very quickly um, in a couple of uh, months it's going to turn into soil and that's your humus and then you'll just add more for next season so um, This is how you do succession planting. It's planting one thing after the next um, and this is pretty much succession planting in that we had something here yesterday and today We are going to plant tomatoes and these are our tomatoes and you can see they're big and tall and leggy. They really need to go into the ground right now. We've got two types. We've got uh, cherry tomatoes and we've got regular red slicing tomatoes. These are the cherries. These are your red slicers. They're the stuff you get at the store, but so much better. Um, and the tomatoes um, are gonna do pretty well in the soil. You can see out perhaps kind of a little sunny out here today. It's a nice hot day. Um, but we've got tomatoes all over this side yard, a couple peppers. They're doing really, really well. We'll walk over and these are some of the first tomatoes that we've planted. These are cherry tomatoes. You can see some of the blossoms on here. And here's some tomatoes forming right here. Right there, right there. Little teeny cherry tomatoes. So that's one of the things I'm working on today and wanted to share and just let you see the process of organic gardening.